can you as he health secretary guarantee now that even if there is a deal that, that no deal can be reached people will be able to get the medicine that they need Yes, we are confident that if everybody does what they need to do, then we'll have an unhindered supply of medicines. Um, and obviously, this is very, very important. In all Brexit scenarios, no matter what happens in those negotiations, um, people should be able to get their uh, supplies. There's an awful lot of work going on to ensure that that's the case. Uh, and we're confident that, you know, that so long as everybody needs, does what they need to do, because a lot of this relies on the pharmaceutical companies, and others, uh, so it isn't entirely in the gift of the, uh, the government, but we need to do what we need to do and the pharmaceutical industry. So far, that work has been progressing very well. I've been very pleased with the response of the pharmaceutical industry, who obviously take this incredibly seriously. And, uh, you know, frankly, a hospital should be get the, the supply of drugs in exactly the same way uh, as they do now. You know, they shouldn't notice uh, any different because the, 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 the unhindered supply should be done within the pharmaceutical supply chain. And we've got plans underway to make sure that that can happen. Being confident that something will happen isn't the same as a guarantee, though, is it? Well, the truth is that in medical supplies, there are these sorts of shortages all the time. In the autumn, there was a shortage of EpiPens because of a problem with uh, supply at the factory in America where they were made. So actually, the NHS and the department deal with these sorts of, uh, these sorts of issues all of the time. So that's why I use the language that I do, uh, because there's, there's, there's always all sorts of problems. I mean, frankly, one of the jobs of the health secretary is to prepare for all sorts of things that you don't want to happen, uh, but, but do happen. You know, we have people at the moment out in the Democratic Re Republic of Congo dealing with Ebola. Uh, I don't want Ebola to be a problem, but I'm absolutely happy to ensure that we put resources into stopping it. Um, and uh, so th this sort of planning happens all of the time.